హలో ఎవ్రీవన్ దిస్ ఇస్ ప్రశాంత వెల్కమ్ టు మై ఛానల్ సో వీఆర్ అన్న ప్లే రైట్ సిరీస్ టుడే వీఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు వన్ ఆఫ్ ద ఇంపార్టెంట్ టాపిక్ లైక్ లైక్ ఎ ట్రిక్ వన్ బట్ ఇట్స్ వెరీ లైక్ ఇంట్రెస్టింగ్ టాపిక్ టు సో వెబ్ టేబుల్ సో ఫస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ఆల్ సి వాట్ ఇస్ వెబ్ టేబుల్ ఓకే సో ఇన్ అ వెబ్సైట్ ఏ పెనిథింగ్స్ వర్క్ లైక్ ఎ టేబుల్ లైక్ రోస్ అండ్ కాలమ్స్ వీ కాల్ ఇస్ అ వెబ్ టేబుల్ బేసికలీ ఓకే సో ఇఫ్ యూ సీ హియర్ ఐఎమ్ ఇన్స్పెక్టింగ్ దిస్ ఎనీవేర్ ఇన్ దిస్ టేబుల్ సో if i inspect you can able to see this is a table tag under this table it has a t body like table body and tr tr stands for table row td stands for table data okay td tr t body and table so this is the ladder okay table is the common like like a root of the entire table okay so here we can go to each rows suppose suppose i'm going to first row so first row you can see th so what is a th table heading th table heading because in this table this is the table heading after this this is the first row this is second row like that okay this is the row 1 after that row 2 td okay like t- under the td tr there is a td so if you see google in the same row you have maria andreas and the same row you have third column is germany see this google maria andreas and germany so that is the three columns so td is a column tr is a row okay that is a simple thing you want to understand okay suppose if you want to find the mexico means because in the web table it don't be constant it will update suppose you are taking a customer result page means every time the customers will change the table so we cannot know where exactly so how do we handle that we need to, we need to travel to the rows <coughs> after that row you need to travel to the columns like excel sheet excel you know right that is so so i need to first i need to go to the t- table in the table i need to find there are how many rows then i in the each row i need to go to the columns after that i need to find that exact so like i post i want to find the mexico means where the mexico like i need to go to the first row i need to go to the second row then i need to go to third row in third row i can find the in third column mexico okay so that is how we need to travel so for that but in previous class one of a class we studied about list how to store multiple values in a single variable using a list so we are going to implement the list in the web table okay in that we need to store more than one double element suppose if i am finding tr means that is how many trs 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 trs in this table you can see able to see right 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 how many columns three columns right three columns okay so how to find the root so we need to find the table td table is id is what td id and customer that is the id of the value so i'm going to create a new python file so right click on your my project new click on python file this is a web table so i'm giving a name like web table demo okay in this as usual our normal task like four lines so what are the four lines we will write from playwright dot sync api from this i'm importing the sync playwright so i'm going to create a method with method of sync playwright as p so as usual browser i need to create a browser from the p dot chromium to launch to launch in this i'm going to give a headless mode as false because otherwise this we cannot see the browser after that we need to create a context context you know we I, it can store more than one page if required so browser dot new context from this context i'm going to create a page equal to context dot new page okay from this page i'm going to one url so i, I will share this url in the uh, description you guys can get it nowadays i'm giving a code as well in the main code in the description as well 
so i'm giving this url here after that what is the first thing i need to go to the table so table so page dot query wait for query style here or oh, not a timeout wait for so you need to wait for a selector basically so in this i'm going to give xpath what is xpath table tag at id equal to i want to pass the value of what is the id value customers so that is the value so we give the xpath so from that from this table i want to find all the rows how to find the all the rows like tr equal to from the table under the table table dot all so i want all the queries query selector all tr it will give all the rows so i will show you first i want going to print the size of this list so i am using length method tr so it if i am giving this variable it will give the size of the entire list like as we will say seven right seven tiers so we can after that i am giving one small wait over here because to uh, wait for a certain times to show you okay so i am right clicking running this project so it will launch the browser we will go to the url cool right so what is the length of the tr 7 7 right okay so i want to know columns so how can i know the column so i'm going to td equal to i want to know the all the tds okay from the table so table dot query selector all the tds because t if you want th means what can i do i can put th but right now i want to know the trs only like how many tr is there okay the same i'm going to print the list of trs in this page length of t td okay i want to know all the tds in this page okay i'm cutting this wait statement and i'm putting it in in the end okay so cool right so right now i'm uh, previously we saw how many trs is there how many tds is there okay. i didn't catch that could you try again Okay, cool. It's done. It's closed. See this totally eighteen six into three because first row is T H row, so remaining six three columns six into three eighteen columns. Okay. Now how can I travel this thing? Okay. How can I travel to the each text? So I'm going to put a for loop. For loop for the T R. Like I this is a row right? A row. in tr so i want all the i will go one by one by row okay from this row i want td so columns columns are cells somewhere we call the cells as well cells row dot row dot query selector all the td if it is it has a td or otherwise no need okay i am going to the another for loop this for loop will give the cell in the cells so this is finds the row it will take the rows in that first row it will go it will take the all the td it will stores here in this loop i am variable in from the this cells okay so i am going to print in last class i taught you how to take a text from a cell but we want to see here where the td is coming td is coming under this span tag sometimes span tag we can give otherwise we don't need to give we'll see right now okay td dot what text content to get a text from suppose i want this google means i want to use a text content method that's it right 
so first we'll go to the row and in that row it will take all the columns and it will goes to the this this will loop will run three times again the for loop goes up so it will take the second uh, tr and it from that row it will take the all the tds and it will run so this is kind of a nested for loop nested for loop okay like one for loop inside another for loop this only called as n square in uh, time complexity or dx data set as interviews we call this n square because the two for loop inside running see this it took all the 18 data google maria germany metadata francisco mexico all the data from the table so how cool no so this is how we need to handle the web table like rows columns just remember the names like table t body th td tr what is those things and after that it's very simple to handle it okay so i'm giving you one again one heads up so in this i'm taking all the trs in a table this is taking all the tds in a table so i'm going to put on for loop in that for loop i'm taking the tr all the rows in that for loop i'm going to one by one by loop so it it takes the first row it will fetch all the tds like column of that row it stores here so this is three cells like I'm taking another variable in that variable like web like web element so it takes the context and it will runs three times now it goes again it will takes the new row it will takes all the td it's find it it will run it so it takes again let's keep on running running and goes up running so it takes all the 18s like like variables or strings okay so this is the cool thing of a web table so actually I started one new series called data structures for a for data set interview preparations for an automation tester not for developers uh, it's for basically for automation testers uh, most of the things i am starting on basics of in python so whatever question i k i across i got from walmart amazon wherever i worked on so i attend the interview site so those places i remembered some of the questions then i'm still googling some of the questions so i will try to solve the problem so at least in anyone in any maybe you will get the same question from your uh, interview life okay in the coding round okay so thanks for joining and if you like the video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching